Hey, I've gotten a lot of feedback on the post I wrote, so I, and I, I didn't want any of it to be lost, the meaning of the post to be lost in writing. Sometimes you miss a tone when you write something. So I'll read the post to you so that nothing's lost. Two weeks ago, I started a new protocol to harness my dopamine, and the results have been nothing short of extraordinary. Most people do what I call a Mickey Mouse dopamine detox. Most people are weak. You probably already know the Mickey Mouse dopamine detox. Less sugar, less looking at iPhones, etc. For a dopamine detox, it's like the Oduls. Pathetic. I did the progressive overload principle of dopamine detox in this order. Restricting eating. Eat only athletic greens and element salt packs. No more cold plunges and headspace meditation. Why? Too much pleasure. I cut out, I then cut out athletic greens and element altogether. So for those noobs, that means nothing, eating nothing. No screens. I have my VA print out everything that would be on a screen and then slide it under my door, which accomplishes two things. Less dopamine for me and my VA improves her hand eye. Hashtag teachable moment. But it was weird. Even after implementing the above dopamine, detox protocol, I still wasn't there. I knew there was more to be gained, or in this case lost. But what was still giving me dopamine? It was a mystery. And then I saw the answer. It was staring me right in the face, or rather, she was. Svetlana and I have been together for 18 years. Of course, I haven't let her legally be my wife. Not because I don't love her, but because I think the carrot of citizenship and the stick of deportation. Help her stay motivated. Hashtag incentives. Enough about the sideshow. My dopamine journey had to become a death march. Like a dopamine Chinese water torture, I knew I had to stop the drip. So, I stopped sleeping near Svetlana. I stopped speaking to her, and I stopped looking her in the eyes. This is key. Of course, we still live in the same rented one bedroom. Don't we, honey? I mean, I'm not a monster. <laughs> Plus, it, it makes financial sense here in San Francisco. R hashtag Ramit Seti. But I did optimize her sleeping environment so that she gets rest and I don't get dopamine. I put a series of blankets in the corner of our apartment on the floor. You dog owners will get the picture. But alas, most people don't get it. <laughs> and neither does Svetlana. To help her see, I, I emailed her the Huberman podcast on dopamine. I'm still waiting for her to reply to her email. Maybe it'll slide under the door tomorrow. You should join the wait list for my upcoming masterclass. It's called Marriage and Empathy, Data-Driven Protocols to Increase Intimacy. You can join the wait list at the bottom of this post. Thank you.